FC Dynamo Moscow, Wikipedia Audio FC Dynamo Moscow Russian is a Russian football club based in Kymki, Moscow Oblast. Dynamo has returned to the Russian Premier League for the 2017-18 season after one season's absence in the second-tier Russian Football National League. Dynamo was the only club that had always played in the top tier of Soviet football and of Russian football from the end of the Soviet era until they were relegated in 2016. Despite this, it has never won the modern Russian Premier League title and won Russia's Football Cup only once, in the season of 1994-1995. During the Soviet era, it was affiliated with the MVD and with the KGB and was a part of Dynamo Sports Society. Chief of the Soviet Security and Secret Police Apparatus NKVD, Lavrenta Beria, was a patron of the club until his downfall. History From April 10, 2009 the VTB Bank has been the owner of Dynamo after acquiring a 74% share in the club. Boris Rotenberg Sr. was chairman until he resigned on July 17, 2015. On December 29, 2016, Dynamo Sports Society agreed to buy VTB bank shares back for one ruble. Dynamo's traditional colors are blue and white. Their crest consists of a blue letter D, written in a traditional cursive style on a white background, with Moscow written below it, partially covering a football underneath. The club's motto is Power in Motion, initially proposed by Maxim Gorky the famous Russian author, who was once an active member of the Dynamo Sports Society. Dynamo Moscow has its roots in the club Morozov C. Orokhovozy Yuvo Moskva founded as a factory team in 1887. The team was renamed OK's Moskva in 1906 and won a series of Moscow League championships from 1910 to 1914. After the Russian Revolution, the club eventually found itself under the authority of the Interior Ministry and its head Felix Dzerzhinsky, chief of the Chaika, the Soviet Union's secret police. The club was renamed Dynamo Moscow in 1923 but was also referred to disparagingly as garbage, a Russian criminal slang term for police, by some of the supporters of other clubs. Dynamo won the first two Soviet championships in 1936 and 1937, a Soviet Cup in 1937, and another pair of national titles in 1940 and 1945. They were also the first Soviet club to tour the West when it played a series of friendlies in the United Kingdom in 1945. Complete unknowns to the British the Soviet players first drew 3-3 against Chelsea and then defeated Cardiff City 1-10. They defeated an Arsenal side reinforced with Stanley Matthews, Stan Mortensen and Joe Bacuzzi by a score of 3-4 in a match played in thick fog at White Hart Lane. They drew 2-2 against Scottish side Rangers. They continued to be a strong side at home after World War II and enjoyed their greatest success through the 1950s. Dynamo captured another five championships between 1949 and 1959, as well as their second Soviet Cup in 1953. Honors were harder to come by after that time. The club continued to enjoy some success in the Soviet Cup, but has not won a national championship since 1976. Even so, Dynamo's 11 national titles make it the country's third most decorated side behind Dynamo Kyiv and Spartak Moscow. Dynamo's greatest achievement in Europe was in the 1971-72 European Cup Winners' Cup, where they reached the final at Camp Nou in Barcelona losing 3-2 to Rangers.
This was the first time a Russian side had reached a final in a European competition, a feat not repeated until CSKA Moscow won the UEFA Cup in 2005. At the end of the 2008 season, Dynamo finished third, qualifying for the 2009-10 Champions League preliminary round. On July 29, 2009, Dynamo recorded a 0-1 away win against Celtic at Celtic Park, which gave them a strong advantage going into the second leg. However, Celtic comfortably defeated Dynamo 0-2 in Moscow to progress, sending Dynamo into the Europa League playoff round where the club was eliminated by Bulgarian side CSKA Sofia after a 0-0 away draw in Sofia and a 1-2 home defeat in Moscow. In 2012, after a poor start to the season in which it lost its first five league games, Dynamo replaced interim manager Dimitri Koklov with the Romanian Dan Petrescu, who managed to pull the club out of the relegation zone into a position in the upper half of the league table. The team was close to qualifying for a place in European competition, but a failure to win in the last match day left them in seventh two points below the last Europa League qualifier position. Despite his efforts, Petrescu's contract was terminated on April 8, 2014 by mutual agreement after a heavy loss to league outsiders and Z Makachka Law 04. As Dynamo Director of Sports Garam Adzoyev stated, last year Dan drew the team from the complicated situation, lifted it to the certain level, but recently we have seen no progress. Petrescu was replaced by Stanislav Cherchesov as manager. Under his management, Dynamo qualified for the group stage of the 2014-15 UEFA Europa League in which they won every game before falling to Napoli in the round of 16. Dynamo was only able to finish in fourth place in the 2014-15 season after a string of poor results in the latter stages. VTB Bank Era In June 2015, Dynamo was excluded from 2015-16 Europa League competition for violating financial fair play break-even requirements. As a result, VTB Bank proposed to transfer 74% of the shares of the club to the Dynamo Sports Society. Under the proposed plan, the society would own 100% of shares of Dynamo as it did in 2009, while the shares of the VTB Arena would still be held by the bank. The move would allow the club to comply with the requirements of financial fair play and VTB Bank would continue to provide support to Dynamo to the extent consistent with financial fair play regulations. Manager Stanislav Cherchesov was replaced by the returning Andriy Kobelev, and many foreign players, such as Matthew Valbuena, Balish Sichsak, and Kevin Karanyi, subsequently left Dynamo. Several young Dynamo prospects, such as Grigory Morozov, Alexander Tasheyev, and Anatoly Kotrik, who won the under-21 competition in the 2014-15 season, were introduced to the first team squad. On December 22, 2015, Chairman of Dynamo's Board of Directors Vasily Tidov announced that the shares had not been transferred to the Dynamo Society that FFP compliance rather than the share transfer was the top priority for the club, and that he expected the club to achieve compliance by April 2016. After the winter break of the 2015-16 season, the club results got much worse. Dynamo won only one game out of 12 played in 2016, Kobelev was fired with three games left and on the final day of the season, Dynamo lost 0-3 to FC Zenit ST. Petersburg at home, dropped to 15th place in the table and was relegated from the Premier League for the first time in history.
In October 2016, with Dynamo leading the second-tier Russian Football National League at the time, the newly appointed club president Yevgeny Muraviov claimed that club's debts stand at 13 billion rubles and unless a new owner is found shortly or VTB recommits to covering the club's debts, the club might declare bankruptcy. That would most likely mean the loss of professional license and relegation to the fourth-level Russian Amateur Football League. On December 29, 2016, Dynamo Sports Society agreed to buy VTB bank shares back for one ruble. On January 13, 2017, VTB Bank announced they will sponsor Dynamo Sports Society to the amount of 10.64 billion rubles for the period from 2017 to 2019. HC Dynamo Moscow and other teams of the society will also be financed under that deal. On February 1, 2017, Former club president Boris Rodenberg said that the 75 million euro debt the football club owes to Rodenberg's companies has been restructured and is not harming anybody. On April 12, 2017, with seven games left to play in the 2016-17 season, Dynamo secured the return to the top-level Russian Premier League for 2017-18. That is the FNL record for the earliest a team secured promotion. On March 14, 2018, Yevgeny Muraviov was dismissed as the club president due to unauthorized payment made as a bonus to a third company during the transfer of Konstantin Roche from 1. FC Köln. Dynamo Society Era. Rivalries. Since its establishment in 1923, Dynamo's historical rival has been Spartak Moscow. Clashes between the clubs were seen by their fans and more generally as the most important games in the Soviet Union for more than three decades, attracting thousands of spectators. Dynamo clinched the first ever Soviet league by beating Spartak 1-0 at Dynamo Stadium in front of 70,000 spectators. Spartak responded by winning the championship the following year. But after Dynamo's decline in the late 1970s, the rivalry has faded. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, First CSKA Moscow and then Zenit St. Petersburg have emerged as the top clubs in Russian football, with the rivalries between Dynamo and its Moscow neighbors such as Spartak Moscow and Lokomotiv assuming less significance. Stadium Average Attendance Honors League and Cup History European Campaigns Dynamo's ground used to be the historic Dynamo Stadium in Petrovsky Park, which seats 36,540. In 2008, it was closed for demolition. It is to be replaced by VTB Arena in 2017, which will have a capacity of 27,000. Until its completion, Dynamo has been sharing Arena Kimki with rival CSKA Moscow since 2010, before the new ground for the latter, Arena CSKA, was completed in 2016. As of February 22, 2018, according to the RFPL official website note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. UEFA Ranking Following Dynamo's relegation from the Russian Football Premier League at the end of the 2015-16 season, 
the reserve squad FC Dynamo 2 Moscow received professional license and was registered to play in the third-tier Russian Professional Football League, beginning with the 2016-17 season. It will not play professionally in the 2017-18 season, with players returning to the RFPL U21 tournament. For details of Dynamo Moscow players with a Wikipedia article, see List of FC Dynamo Moscow players. Mikhail Yakushin Konstantin Beskov Anatoly I. Bishovitz Valery Gazov Sergei Silkin Players In the Dynamo organization, the position of president has not always been present, several times the head of the club was titled as chief executive officer. Current squad Out on loan FC Dynamo 2 Moscow Notable players Most appearances Most goals one club men. Coaching and medical staff. Former head coaches. Gallery. Personnel. Club management. Presidents.